all right all right all righty all right what is going on everybody my name is pete but you probably already knew that but in case you didn't you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and paid to drive vlogs day number 1253 coming at you hope you're all having a great one out there so if this is your first time watching one of my videos welcome leave a comment right now saying hashtag first timer but if you've been here before leave a comment right now saying hashtag before and of course if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash postmates uber eats or any of those others in the gig economy this is the right place for you to stay updated with what's going on make sure to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on the little notification bell to the right and set it to all so you don't miss anything on this channel and uh let's see if we can get 200 thumbs up 200 likes and let's jump into this so this email comes from uh john nohile and he says hey pete my name is john nohile the best way to pronounce my name is no high l the j is silent i don't mind that you use my name pete i've been a driver in the gig economy for about three months now i have 998 deliveries i've been watching your show for a year so which is cool that he's been watching the videos uh, for over a year even before he started driving so thank you for that I was wanting to know if you could do an episode on explaining to drivers about these hidden tips on DoorDash. A lot of times they'll happen at high-end restaurants like Chili's, Red Lobster, or local Chinese restaurants. For instance, a local Chinese restaurant will have a pickup. It'll say $8, but once you clear the dash, it jumps up sometimes a couple of dollars, or sometimes it jumps up to $13. I don't understand why. Uh, oh wait, I don't understand why DoorDash doesn't tell you in the beginning how much the dash really is. It seems like the more items you have, the more the money jumps up, more than what it, what it originally told you the dash is worth. Like I said, it doesn't happen at small restaurants and re oh, it doesn't happen uh, at small like restaurants like McDonald's or Taco Bell, but usually uh, Chinese restaurants or high-end uh, restaurants, it seems to happen a lot. One driver had a theory that I talked to you in my area of Spring Hill, Florida, that DoorDash does that because in case the customer cancels the order, they only have to pay you half of whatever they originally told you the dash is worth. But I see his point with that theory, but that doesn't totally make sense because the dash is only worth an extra dollar or sometimes two dollars. And I don't understand why DoorDash would do that to try and save half of that. I hope this email makes sense. I think a lot of dashers would love to hear an episode on about these hidden uh, tips and what it's all about and why DoorDash does it. I think a lot of drivers would appreciate you explaining the best of your ability what the hidden ta what the hidden tips are all about because it totally does not make sense to me. Thank you for anything you can do, John in Spring Hill, Florida, West Coast of Florida. So if you guys ever want to email me anything like this, uh, send an email to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. And here's my thing. I don't have a direct confirmed response, but to the best of my knowledge, what I have uh, witnessed and seen and experienced is that DoorDash tries to do anything to incentivize picking up orders, period. Sometimes, you know, the payouts can fluctuate, uh, especially if an order gets passed around a lot. But also another thing that has been happening is that uh, not drivers, customers have the ability to adjust the tip after the fact. They can raise the tip, they can lower the tip. So that definitely plays a part in the final payout. I don't know if that's exactly what you're saying here, um, but it's interesting. See, the thing that I guess is confusing about your email is why would local Chinese restaurants be the same as like the bigger chains? You know what I mean? But also you, you mentioned McDonald's and Taco Bell, but you're saying the high-end chains, you know, the more like Cheesecake Factory and, you know, stuff like that. So I guess really, you know, I'm kind of grasping at straws with this. It just seems like it could be the customer adjusting tips, you know, uh, maybe making it a, a higher payout because they were happy with the service. You know, uh, drivers have also complained that they accept an order that's, you know, $10 or something. And then, you know, by the time they finally get it in their account, they see they only made five or six bucks because the customer adjusted the tip. So I think, again, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have people rip me to shreds and tell me that I don't know anything in the comment section. I'm used to it at this point. Um, 
but it could very well be the customer adjusting the tip. I'm going to just kind of go with that. Um, but in the comment section down below, John, I would highly recommend you check out what people are saying down there because someone might know even better than me. Um, one thing I will say is I have always started, I started in the gig economy with Grubhub. For those of you who don't know, who recently are watching, I started in 2017 focused on Grubhub because in my market, that was at the time the most, you know, uh, lucrative app to work on. And then Uber Eats was like the number one, then Grubhub took the number one spot. But then when DoorDash showed up in uh, fall of 2017, really everything changed. But I didn't have as much of a need to go on DoorDash. The reason why I talk about DoorDash so much is because usually they're the ones with all the drama going on and that's the stuff you need to keep updated with as much as possible. Also, not to mention that DoorDash has well over a million contracted drivers working with them, which is pretty wild. So I don't know if this entirely answered your question. Maybe it gave you a little bit more insight. But again, John, definitely take a look in the comments section down below because there are some drivers that may know more than me uh, about why this is happening. But I appreciate you reaching out uh, and uh, thank you for uh, your email. So with that being said, I do want to give a uh, bunch of shout outs here to our patrons who support the channel every month over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. Um, if you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And if you want to sign up, there are links in the description down below. Click show more or in the pinned top comment down below as well. So big shout out to BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, uh, let's see here. Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, uh, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havlin, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Big shout outs to all of you. If you guys uh, want to sign up, links down below, like I said. And of course, please make sure to download the Get Upside Gas app. Very important. The gas prices have been going up. So definitely make sure to uh, sign up on this. Link is in the description down below. All you have to do is download the app for free for your smartphone. You pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, get yourself an official Pay to Drive t shirt or a hoodie and goodies over at paytodrivestore.com. Link is down below. And of course, if you made it to the end, comment end 307, end 307 to let me know you made it to the end. Subscribe with all notifications on for free down below and crush that like. Let's see if we can get 200 thumbs up. And that's all I got for you in this one, everybody. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And I'll see you all next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to drive and pay to drive logs. Have a great one, everybody. Tell me one thing you're doing today in the comments. Peace.